Today's video features a review of the Otori N500 Pro Zero Gravity Massage Chair. It retails on Amazon for $799. It's available in a black or brown color. There are quite a few massage chair options on Amazon, so it can get a bit overwhelming. However, this one does have good reviews and definitely for the price, I think it's worth it. Today's video will be broken down into the following topic areas. I'm first gonna go over some details on this product. I'm also gonna talk about the assembly process. I'm gonna go over my first impression. And lastly, I'm gonna go over my overall opinion. It is a full body massage, reclining chair with a shiatsu function, lower back heating, and foot rollers. It is comprised of a thick PU or synthetic leather, It has a total of 16 airbags and four foot rollers. There are more than 10 plus zero gravity modes to choose from. The back of the chair has eight fixed massagers distributed in the neck, back, and lower back. The headrest portion can also be retracted back if you want a deeper massage, giving you direct access to the rollers. When you start the chair, all of the rollers will engage, but of course, you can manually adjust it to your liking. So to turn on the machine, I'm just gonna press the power button right here, and it immediately goes to the A1 or the 15 minute setting. There is also a seat vibration mode. This product has a three year rock solid warranty in which they will repair or replace this product at no cost to you. Due to its design and transportation issues, this massage chair will arrive in three separate boxes. That's actually a really great thing, making it more manageable versus one large box. This product has a maximum load weight of 242 pounds. Its recommended user height range is 5'7 to 6'2. For reference, I'm 5'4 and the massage chair fits me perfectly. The product size is 43.3 inches, by 31.3 inches by 44.88 inches. So this massage chair arrives in three separate boxes. The first box weighs 32 pounds. The second box weighs 34 pounds. And the last box weighs 83 pounds. The advertised assembly time is 30 minutes. However, I do recommend that you have another person to help you out. The largest box right here is the main unit or the back portion. Here are the side rests. So here are all the massage chair components. Here we have the user manual. The first step is to attach the backrests to the main unit. You want to make sure that the back rests on the metal ledge as shown right here or else it won't lock in place. The next step is to attach screws to both sides. To secure them in place, we attach this pin. The next step is to connect the back power and air tube. Next, we will connect the side air tubes, hook the side armrests, and repeat this on the opposite side. Here we are screwing in the side armrests. Here we have a screw and washer combination and we're using the included tools to assemble it. Next, we're gonna connect the side headrest air tubes, hook the side headrests, These don't need to be screwed in place. As you can see, they won't budge. The next step is to connect the power and seat air tubes.
Here I'm attaching the seat with the Velcro. Plug in the power and the hand controller. And now your product is finished and ready for use. So this is how loud the chair sounds like. As you can see, it's really not loud at all. On the lower back portion, we have the shiatsu rollers. On the upper back portion, we have the kneading function. This portion is the buttocks portion. And this is what the calf portion looks like. As you can see, it's compressing right here. Therefore, it would be squeezing your calves. It does seem to be a pretty sturdy and durable airbag. This is a vibration portion, which would be centralized right here. Here's an example of the arm portion, which in reality actually lands at like my hands. And over here on the upper portion is the shoulder. There's this nice plaid cross stitch pattern on the backrest, on the armrest, on the side panels, as well as the upper panels. The black panel right here is all plastic. And on the back, we do have two wheels for transportation. So now I'm gonna demonstrate my first impression review for this Otori N500 massage chair. So this is what it looks like initially. We do have the control panel on the right hand side. For the record, I'm five foot four and this is where my feet land on the bottom. I am easily able to reach the bottom. This is where the arm portions land on my hand. So in reality, when it's in use, mostly my hand is the one that's getting the massage, not my forearm as seen right here. So I currently still have the plastic protective wrapping on this remote. To turn it on, we just push the power button right here and it immediately reclines you backwards. So this is the first program as designated in the upper left hand corner. This one lasts 15 minutes. There are three auto programs on this massage chair. As you can see by the designated flashing areas, those are the different rollers that the massage chair is currently using. So there's no pause button on this massage chair, just the on and off switch. Of course, you could further customize your massage with the buttons right here. The heating component is designated by the flashing stars on the person's back. The foot rollers are also in place during the entire massage and that's once again designated by this portion right here that is flashing. It literally looks like some rollers. This is what the hand massage portion looks like. Once again, it doesn't really reach my arm so it's literally my hand as you can see. Maybe if you have obviously longer arms, it would get more of your forearm. But it is kind of nice because I don't have to remove my watch while doing a massage. So there are four speed settings as well as four strength settings. The auto speed setting for this A1 massage is level three. So I'm just gonna increase the speed with a button right here. So you can see it increases that. And if the strength is too much, you can also decrease it with a button down there. As you can see, the illuminated portion is decreasing. So right here we have the shoulder portion of the massage. It does do a pretty good job of reaching my shoulders. And believe it or not, the back is currently not fully reclined. We can further recline it by pressing the button back ascend and it will go down more. So this is what they call the zero gravity position, which is like you're basically laying parallel to the ground. With the back fully reclined, it actually gives you a deeper massage. So now I'm gonna demonstrate the second auto function massage. I'm gonna turn on the power button right here and it automatically starts on the auto function one if I press it again, it goes to A2. Unlike the first A1 button, this massage is 20 minutes long. So the starting speed on this massage, as designated by these little bars right here, is actually on the level two setting. We can increase the speed. And to me, I just prefer to do a faster speed just to be more efficient. Now I'm gonna demonstrate the third or the A3 setting. So under this setting, they actually have like the vibrations on the seat portion, which the other A1 or A2 settings don't have. To me, that's not my favorite. So obviously you could just turn it off by pressing the vibrating button right here. This A3 massage setting is a total of 30 minutes long. We've currently elapsed one minute. You can also do a completely manual massage if you go to the A0 setting. So right here, we're at A0 and you can just click and add the portions that you'd like to have. The default time for this A0 setting is 30 minutes. So I've been using this product for the past three weeks. I've been thoroughly impressed with it. Generally, I like to use it for a minimum of 15 minutes at the end of each day. 
I love that this massage chair is not too bulky in size. The heat function is also really great, and I feel like the rollers are very effective as well. I also love the quilted detailing on this product. It gives it a high-end feel. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, comment down below what are your thoughts on this product. Do you feel like it's worth it for the price point, just under $800? Do you like the look of this massage chair? If you're not already, be sure to subscribe if you like content like this, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.